Room. I'm Jenny Jaffe. I'm the founder of Project You're OK, and I am scared of balloons popping. Today, to help me confront that fear and to confront one of his very own fears is Dave Ebert. Hi. Hello, Dave. Hello. What have you written down? I've asked you to write your fear down on a balloon. Mm -hmm. What did you write? My fear is getting in trouble. Oh. That's a really good one. Yeah. Did you get in trouble a lot as a kid? Oh, all the time. Everybody was mad at me for everything I did. Why? Well, I, I grew up in a very religious house, uh, and I was a very creative and um, flamboyant child. And I never did my homework because I didn't really care about it. So teachers were mad at me. Parents were mad at me. Yeah. Is there like a specific reason or instance that you think was like the root of your fear of getting in trouble? Uh, I had an abusive parent. Uh, my, my dad hit me. That's where it comes from. Um, and, I, and I had that fear for a long time, but then I, I found out over time, as I started to deal with more people, and I realized that uh, not everybody responds with violence to being upset, that uh, the concept of trouble is in our heads. It doesn't, it's just, it's all we're doing is making somebody mad. And if you're able to deal with that person and how they're mad and deal with it interpersonally, then trouble doesn't really exist. But now, but so I still have this fear of getting in trouble. Like I still like, I don't like it. Like if I'm watching a movie and there's that moment, like she's all that style where it's like, it was a bet the whole time. I have to leave the room. Nobody just sits and talks in movies. There's never a scene where it's just like, you kiss that guy. I know you better than that. Let's talk for a second, figure out if we can come to an agreement together. Look, She's All That would have still been a good movie if it would have would been a have? great movie. <laughs> would it have? Still, she's All That would have been the best movie of all time. Do you guys remember that scene where Freddie Prince Jr. plays Hacky Sack? And he does spoken word? Hack E Sack. Yeah, no, I don't think it would have been a good movie at all, ever, under any circumstances. We have different definitions of what poetry is. What's the dumbest thing you ever got in trouble for? When I was in the eighth grade, there was this book called Captain Underpants. Yes, yes. Right. Oh man. And and I and I and there in Captain Underpants there was a book that gave people new names. Right. You know, it's like yeah. if you're in first letter, and now they're on the internet all the time. What, like first your, letter is yeah. this, and so like my name was like. Uh, Professor Von Poopy Pants, and I made a little name tag, and so I, all my friends, I made them name tags, like laminated them and everything, and I brought them to school, and my math teacher saw them and got furious and gave me detention and sent me to the principal because she was like, "What if I called you stupid little kid?" And I was like, "Oh no, they're they're not insulting. They're." Why they're did your math teacher hate fun? She hated. She really hated fun. Do you have any advice for like people who are watching who are still kids, maybe in abusive situations and maybe, you know, happy to see that there's somebody who's made it to adulthood successfully and doing cool things, having a full life, who's survived parental abuse? You don't ever have to forgive the person that abused you. And you can also know that it's not normal. You can tell somebody. <laughs> You're allowed to say it. We've talked about a lot of things. We've covered a lot of, uh, a lot of really important ground. And thank you for being open and awesome. Now we're going to have to um, come to the point where I uh, confront my fear. And you pop this balloon? Oh, you pop that balloon, Dave. I pop it? I'm not popping it. Are you popping it with your hands? I'm going to do it with hands? my bare hands right okay. now. OK, do it, do it. Ah, do it, go. Smoke that came out of that. Okay, Dave, thank you so much for being here. Where can where can the wonderful people at home uh, find you on the internet? You can um, find me on Horse Divorce. I'm, I'm at Horse Divorce on Twitter. Uh, and then also, uh, I'm on Joking Off. The new season comes out in November. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Jenny Jaffe. This is Dave Ebert. This is Balloon Room. Don't forget to subscribe and check us out at projecturok.org. You sucked a lot. Boy, you really blew. <laughs>